Hi folks, welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. My name is Jason Webster. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, we are at the PTI farm today and we are out in one of our corn research trials. And one of the things I wanted to kind of share with you folks is how we do irrigation here at the PTI farm. So we are blessed enough to have some water. Not 100% of the farm is irrigated, just a portion of the farm is. Um, I'll show you our water source here in a second. But we're using Netafim drip tape. Okay, we're working with the folks from Nucha Drip out in Kansas. And um, we've got a white, you'll see this white hose here. This is our flex net. This is our water supply that we bring in. And attached to the white flex net, we have these black lines and they're dripper hoses. And basically I call it a glorified super soaker hose. And this tape has got emitters every 24 inches that we can adjust the pressure of the pump and these emitters will just drop water out of the tape. Now it's kind of like when you go to the hospital, okay? You've seen folks that have an IV put into them. They have this bag standing from the rack and it's just drip, drip, drip. And we can control the speed of the drip with our pump, but it's a very similar situation. We're just pushing water out here we're on 60 inch spacings. We have these drip lines. I'll take one off here. We have these drip lines. And again, here's the emitter, but we have these drip lines every other corn row. So this, this drip line is gonna drip water between these two corn rows and feed both plants. Since we're doing that, we don't have to put a line in the other row. We can skip one since this dripper is feeding both plants surrounding it. We'll do this on corn and beans. And I tell you, this is super labor intensive. Um, and we do this for one reason and one reason only, is so we can show folks what this irrigation system looks like when they come visit us at the PTI farm. Now, we have started installing some of this drip tape underground for subsurface irrigation. Uh, this will be our first growing season where we've got, in, they got that in the ground. But if I bury this tape, bury the system in the ground, 17, 18 inches deep, and you're not gonna be able to see it, and you're not gonna believe me that it's, that it's here. So we're all about education and precision planning, and we like putting this on top of the ground, even though it is labor intensive. So you, when you come to the farm, you can see this thing dripping water and see the design of this. Yes, it's on top of the ground. Yes, it needs to be underneath the ground, but you can see the design of it. So if it's something that you'd wanna install, possibly or potentially on your farm, you can see how this thing is set up and you can see how it works. So this is our drip tape system. One common question I get a lot is, how do you lay all this? And so we've got an army of interns at the, at the PTI farm, and our interns do a great job of laying this tape down for us. We've got a reel that we set up on the tractor, on a three-point uh, small John Deere tractor, and we can basically lay these lines manually. Now these interns will walk one or two lines at a time all the way down through the field. We simply pull it off the reel, take it to the end of the plot, we cap it at that point, and then we're ready to pressurize the system for water. Now, at the end of the season, and maybe we'll put a video together to show you what it looks like when we pick all this up at the end of the year, but we do, we have to, to literally throw, you know, take these lines out of the field. We do it with the same system, reeling, reeling it back up instead of reeling it out like we're doing right now, but we actually reel it up we push the water out of it. That way we can store it over the winter time without any freeze issues. And then we will reuse this Netafim drip tape once again next spring and summer. So I really like this system. I, I think I can feed a crop pretty fast with this system since we're on top of the ground. It's almost like an IV right into, in this case, the corn crop. But we can fertigate with it as well. We're putting on water, we can put on nitrogen, we can put on any nutrient that we show deficiencies of and we can add it immediately to this crop so we can try to stay on top of this i don't have a lot of water and i mentioned earlier we don't irrigate 100 percent of the farm i've got a reservoir that we built here at this farm we had drainage issues on this farm we went to our prairie pothole our lowest elevation area of the farm and we built a reservoir then we put farm tile in to drain our soils, to make our soils healthier so we can come in and make timely operations. But all that water feeds into mains that's gonna feed right into the reservoir and that's going to be my, my water supply for this Netafim 
drip tape. And it's one of the, I, I, I talk about this a lot. If you've heard me speak before, you've probably heard me say this. This is one of the coolest projects I've ever been able to work on because we're recycling rainwater. The water that we push through this flex net, through this, this net of drip tape, it's rainwater. It's rainwater that fell, went through the soil profile, went through our tile and ended up in a reservoir where we held it until we needed it. When we turn off hot and dry, we pump it back into the field and this is our means of irrigation. So just wanted to give you guys just a kind of an inside look at what we're doing with irrigation, how we're installing this system, how it works, where we're getting our water from. I guess our, our inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is we know that the water is precious. And for us, we've got to get rid of water when we get too much of it. And so we manage it through our tile system, our drainage system at the farm. But you know, when most people put tile in, that tile's going to take the water away, drop it in an outlet, and you'll never see that water again. Here we hold it because again, water is precious on the backside. When we turn off hot and dry in July and August, we need that precious water to feed this crop to maintain high yield. If you got any questions about anything that we've talked about here today from the, from the PTI farm, shoot me an email at insidepti at precisionplanning.com. Those will come directly to me and I'd love to, to answer any questions that you may have. If you wanna see this system, come on out this summer and uh, you can see this thing in action. You can actually see it work and we'll take these Netafim lines off and you can actually see it dripping water, see the pressure that we've got through this system and how we're irrigating corn and soybeans. We'd love to have you. How do you do that? Just reach out to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer. They can get you all set up, get you signed up to come here to the PTI farm. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.